When people look at your life, do they know that you really love the Lord? If they don't see that, something's wrong. You have not discovered the supreme value of Jesus. And you will never discover the supreme value of something, especially of Jesus, until you lose everything. Do you realize many times God allows us to have problems so that you will appreciate all that He has? Think about it. Look at this verse. Surpassing value of knowing Christ Jesus, my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things. He literally suffered loss. He does not mind. And count them but rubbish so that I may gain Christ. You know what he's talking about? The word rubbish literally is from the Greek word dung, D-U-N-G. What is dung in Tagalog? It's crude. Tae. That's what Paul is saying. Considering the supreme value of who Jesus is, all of these things, fame, power, position, all of this, I consider them as dung, as rubbish, rotten food, manure. What will make a man do that? What will make a man be willing to suffer everything, all the loss, and for him, it's good, it's not bad? for somebody who knows Jesus. You see, friends, many of you have counterfeit satisfaction, counterfeit gods in your life. Most famous for young people is pornography, boyfriends, girlfriends, relationships. You think you're happy with these kind of relationships, but those relationships will never satisfy you. The best guy, the best girl will not satisfy your innermost longing. You know, for the Apostle Paul, this is his conclusion. For to me, to live is Christ, and to die is gain. The supreme value is Jesus. Can you honestly say, for to me, to live is Christ? That's all I live for. To die is gain. If your equation is this, for to me, to live is money, to die is loss. For to me, to live is popularity. To die is loss. For to me, to live is relationship. To die is loss. But if your equation is different, mathematically, if you know the math of Paul, for to me, to live is Christ. As long as I have Christ, no matter what, everything is positive. Everything is gain. So my friend, it's up to you. What do you want most in your life? For the Apostle Paul, an encounter with Jesus opened his eyes. An encounter with Jesus changed his value. Jesus is now the most important. And that's how you pass on a legacy. You determine what is most important.